Google me peace. One sec, itchy nose. Every time, without fail, I sit down to film, I have an itchy nose. Um, so today I am hopefully going to be filming for real, maybe this time, maybe. We'll see what happens. My last like foundation review Monday. I said that a couple Mondays ago and then I got a bunch of new foundations. So who knows what will happen. But for now, the plan, fingers crossed, is to give you this one this week and then next week I'll do my top favorite foundations. Um, and then there might be a break or I might test something else out, but hopefully it seems like these will be the last sort of two foundation related Mondays for a little while at least. So the foundation we're going to talk about today is um, this little sample. It's the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. So I just looked it up on the website and it looks like um, Sephora is listing it for $58. Um, Becca here in the UK I believe is at Space NK. I will try to find a link and put it down below um, but I know you can also get Sephora as long as no one here in the U as long as okay I'll find a UK link and a North American link and put them down below but it was $53 on Sephora for 1.01 ounces of product so you get a little more than that traditional ounce um, but yeah I'm just gonna give it a try so this is in the shade um, nude which based on the little drawing which you're probably not gonna see yeah that's the problem with artificial lighting and sometimes they're a little bright when the packaging is white. It looks like it might be a little bit dark for me, um, but I'm going to try it anyways and we're going to see what happens. I would, if it's a little dark, I would generally have mixed it with my white face and body foundation from MAC, but because I want to test this out for its own merits, um, I'm not going to mix it and we're just going to go a little bit darker. So bear with me as I get this what looks like peanut butter <laughs> on my hand. So it is super, super thick. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, it is surprisingly thick, like almost like a cream um, foundation, you know, those ones like in a pot. So per like my first, first impressions that, let's just put it on and see what happens. So I'm gonna use my Tarte um, airbrush foundation brush. I have a review on this brush that I can link down below. Um, I'm trying to figure out what it is that has a smell because when I smell it on my hand there's no smell but once I'm mixing it on my face I did just put toner on so that might be it but um, it's seeming to mix pretty quickly let me do a mirror I'm trying to use my viewfinder as a mirror and I don't think that's going to be the wisest idea I've had today oh wow yeah it is a little dark A little orange too. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in and show you. So I have it on this side of my face, if you can tell, and then not this side of my face. So it is quite a full coverage. Um, I'm definitely gonna buff it in a little better and then um, put it on the other half of my face and show you, but I just want to show you the difference. Um, so I definitely would go lighter and slightly cooler toned, but um, so far it's okay. It's a little bit mask-like, but we'll see what happens once we do some blending. So I'm going to blend it all out um, and then show you what that looks like. <laughs> so this is it all uh, sort of buffed into the face. No concealer. I have some um, spots popping up, so I'll probably add a little bit of concealer there. But it is quite full coverage on its own, so it probably doesn't need a huge amount of concealer. Um, I don't know. It's weird because when I look at it from a distance, like from here, I keep like trying to stare at my viewfinder like I'm going to find some secret in it. But when I stare at it from here, like at my mirror at a distance, I kind of like the way it looks. Um, I like how airbrushed and how a little bit tanned it is. I haven't, my face has been quite pale recently, so I think the tanness is throwing me off. But I don't know. I feel like I, it, it might start feeling like too much of a mask. So I'm going to um, finish doing my makeup and check back in and then hopefully do one more check in later on the day so I've been able to test for long wearingness and that kind of stuff. Um, but for now, that's what I wanted to tell you. Oh, and in terms of application, because it is so thick, you do have to work with it somewhat quickly. Um, otherwise, it just starts to set. So that would be my application tip. But no smell. It does blend in quite nicely. You just have to sort of work in patches so as not to have some of it set before you're done. Um, so I'm going to do the rest of my face and then show you what that looks like. Okay. Okay, my love bugs. As promised, here's our check-in. So I put the rest of my makeup on and it is playing quite nicely with everything else. Um, 
Uh, let me bring you in and show you. So there's some concealer, some blush, some highlight, all that kind of good stuff. I didn't have trouble blending anything in. Um, yes, it got a little bit on my veil, but that's just the matter of the fact that it's a little bit thicker than some of my other mas uh, foundations. Um, but yeah, it's playing really nicely with everything. I even think the coloring has sort of deoxidized, if that's a thing. It doesn't seem quite as dark as it was when I first put it on. That might be though because I've added quite a bit of blush and bronzer. Um, but yeah. So um, that is it. We've been wearing this for uh, about an hour or so. I filmed another video. Um, I'm going to, there's no more sun outside. So I think it can still oxidize. Oxi the, the, the root of the word oxidize makes me think that oxidization happens in oxygenated air and not necessarily sunshine. So I am going to go out, um, run some errands, um, do all that kind of good stuff and do a check-in later tonight to give you some um, final thoughts on this guy. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I wanted to tell you. I can't stop looking at my face and I like, I feel like I, a narcissist, but I keep looking at my face in the, screen, in the viewfinder because I think it looks really lovely. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm really, really enjoying it. So, um, yeah. We're going to go and do some stuff and come back in for one final check-in on this guy. But so far, it's, it's looking pretty promising. Okay, so we've only had this about on for about four hours. But... Oh, sorry. But I'm obsessed. I keep looking at myself. Um, <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep, and so I did want to check in before I passed out. Um, I, it was a late start to the day today. Anyways, uh, but I do have specific thoughts about this guy, and I have a sneaking suspicion I will end up purchasing this guy, um, so yeah. I, as you can see, can't stop looking at it. So this is, like I said, four hours. I'll bring you in closer because it really hasn't budged. Okay, so you see how, like, up by my nose, I've had a, a runny nose, it's been a little bit cold, so a little bit of it has rubbed off there, but, sorry. There's just a random noise. I swear there are ghosts in this apartment. Um, <laughs> like by my blemishes and still for coverage, by my um, chin I have reapplied my lipstick for the sake of doing this video because my lipstick does not last that long. But it's just, it's so beautifully full coverage without being cakey. The only other foundation I've tested that, that is this full coverage is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. That one, I didn't even get through the whole, like I told you guys, I made it I think an hour into wearing it and I had to go wash my face off because it was driving me crazy. Um, this one is just so lovely, like it I, it does feel like it's not my face, like it's too perfect um, and like poreless to be my face, but it's, I, I, I can't get enough, I can't, I can't. <laughs> So what I will say is sort of the same application tips that I gave you at the beginning. Work maybe on half of your face at a time and blend um, as you go just because it does set quite quickly. When I looked at the website again as I was stocking and seeing where I could get a hand, my hands on it here, um, it, it does list it as a cream foundation which makes sense. It is like we saw from the consistency, a cream based foundation. And I don't have a cream based foundation so who knows? You guys will probably be some of the first people to know if I do pick this up which I'm having a sneaking suspicion. I will. Um, but definitely want to go get color mask before I do that. Anyways, we're talking about that's my application tip. Um, in terms of who it would be suitable for, I, like I said, have oily to combo skin and on my oily areas it has stayed put and so all of um, my oily gals and uh, guys <laughs> out there who have oily skin, I would definitely recommend this guy. If you have dry skin, like I have some dry patches on my nose um, recently so what I would say is that as long as you use a hydrating um, primer, or what I did is I, on patches that were starting to get a little bit dry, I started spritzing with my Fix Plus. So as long as you get some just added hydration on those areas, you should be good to go. It's not going to really emphasize those dry patches too much. If you have really, really dry skin though, like with, with very pronounced dry patches, this is not a hydrating um, foundation per se. So it might not be perfect if you've got really, really dehydrated skin or dry skin. But if you've just got some dryness and you either sort of prep your skin with something moisturizing like a primer or a spray, you should be good to go. Um, so that's in terms of skin type. No oxidization. I went into oxidized air. 
Can you go into non-oxidized air? Probably. But I don't think it'd survive very long. I went outside for a little walk to make sure and see if I could get any of it and there's no oxidization. Um, I also googled, I was reading on that website of Space NK where they sell it here in the UK. Um, I checked and, and other people said that they didn't have oxidization issues either. Um, so a really, really beautiful full coverage um, type of deal. This is a first impressions video. I definitely have only worn it for these couple hours, so I can't tell you. Um, it's not breaking me out. If something is going to break me out intensely, it'll do it right away. Um, but I, I can't tell you sort of over prolonged or is it too heavy to clog my pores. I don't think it will. But um, like I said, this is a first impressions type video. If I do pick it up and wear it more long term, I will have some more in-depth thoughts to share. But for now, I want to say thank you to my sweet Sarah. I'll link her, her Instagram down below. She sent me this sample in our box swap. So um, I've got one more color and a slightly darker color to try out. So I may try that one out first before I go to get color matched. But um, yeah, this may just make it into our top foundations video. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop because I feel like I'm being counterproductive just looking at my viewfinder and not at you guys. Um, I'm going to do points of positivity first though and then I will say goodnight. So my first point of positivity is... It's not that. <laughs> it's not that weird gibberish. It's uh, chatting with my sweet MJ. I think I've talked to you guys about MJ before. She has an amazing blog and a really fun uh, Instagram. I will link those down below. But it's been fun to, to chat makeup with her. And she's been picking up some great new things that she's testing out to share with you guys on the blog. So um, I will link her info down below. But um, if you are watching, Hello, <laughs> and it's just been fun to, to chat with you this week. My second point of positivity is another great chatty, um, chatty, chatting buddy of mine, um, Pam, who is absolutely phenomenal, who took, you know, a sacrifice and had some extra pumpkin pie just for me because I asked her because I was missing Thanksgiving. Um, Pam is just a phenomenal human being, also has a great Instagram that I will link down below. But yeah, it's just, it's fun. Um, because of the time difference, I'll like wake up and have a bunch of messages and, and Pam's are some of the ones that I really look forward to the most. So um, thank you for being such an amazing and sweet human being and for brightening my days truly. And then my third point of positivity is my One Direction buddy. Um, <laughs> you know who you are. She has a phenomenal account here on the on the YouTubes. Um, can you tell I'm filming this late at night? Mm -hmm. I only get this, this goofy. I'm goofy usually, but this goofy, this goofy is like 1am filming goofy. Um, she has a great YouTube here that I will link down below. Um, but she has also been like my teenage, let's, you know, watch these videos and bop around type of person. Yes. No sense me making right now. She's awesome. Her channel down below. I am enjoying 1D. I think that's what we're trying to get out of this. Um, favorite song from the new album probably is No Control. Although I must say that the video for Steal My Girl, I think it is, um, Harry is rocking a jacket full of print like the one on my bedspread and I sort of want it and that video has also been making me happy so um, it's nice to have someone to gush over like boy bands with you and make you feel like you're not way too old for them. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. I need to go to sleep. Um, I want to thank you guys for being here, for putting up with the crazies, um, for loving me for the crazies, actually. And um, I just love you guys. You're awesome. Let me know what's making you smile down in that comment section. Thank you ever so much for being here. I love you all. And I just want to remind you that life is too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.